Godzilla and Maji dug in Talan. That was a case, and it was amazing to work through. Frustrating, but really enlightening at the same time. Now, let's get the story. You've got Doug and Talan. These guys are committed rescuers. They adopt the hard-to-adopt special needs cases. Problem is, they had two cats whose special needs really collided. You had Godzilla, who's deaf. Godzilla was literally a cat from hell. She was predatory. She would lash out. I immediately was thinking, we've got to take her back. You had Mudgy, who was partially paralyzed. Her tail didn't work. She also had to be manually expressed. That means that Doug and Talon had to help her pee and poop every single day. Now, Mudgy would try to yell and scream at Godzilla to say, back off, and Godzilla was deaf. It was a really hard case to work. The first thing we're gonna look at is you guys. You guys are gonna switch roles a little bit. So, Doug, you're expressing Mudgy twice a day. I'd like you to take that job once a day. And Doug, you're going to take over Godzilla work. I want you to be in charge of leading her down here. And when you approach Godzilla, make sure you do it head on so she can see you and come under, not over her head. Jackson really impressed upon me the importance of uh, caring for Mudgy more, peeing her, and I underestimated the type of bond that that would help develop with Mudgy and I. I think he was right. The more time I spent playing with Godzilla with the toys that he gave, it's really brought her out and made me more approachable to her. I think I'm surprised at the amount of progress that we've had. It seems to work and they're getting along. I mean, they're not cuddling or anything together, <laughs> but um, they're, they're definitely, you know, managing their own territories. Yeah, and when we do see Godzilla kind of get in that hunter mentality, we just start playing with her more. That's just our cue that we haven't played with either cat enough. Better piece of advice that Jackson gave us was the most simple, and that was the bell on the collar, because immediately that alerted Mudgy, and she was able to position herself to where she'd be able to defend. And it's really, I think, grown her confidence. So even that predatory crawl that Godzilla would have towards Mudgy is very few and far between right now. Yeah. Uh, it's been phenomenal. You know, what makes me really happy, really relieved to work cases like Godzilla and Mudgy, it's because I want to show you guys that special needs doesn't mean special in that way. These cats don't know that I'm paralyzed or I'm deaf. They're just cats, and because of that, we get to show that they're, they're worth saving. They can have homes too. They can have great behavior, they can be loving, and they can bring a lot to your life as a guardian. You just ask Salon and Doug. They would tell you, yes, there was some trouble along the way, but we love these guys like our family. We wouldn't have it any other way.